sure looks like we're going in the wrong direction. Every technological revolution that the textbooks celebrate, the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, the information age, all of these were a step into greater separation. Agriculture was separated us from the wild. Industry put us in a world that wasn't even natural, that was all square and hard and mechanical, not alive. And then information, the internet, the metaverse, that separates us from materiality itself. So it looks like we're going in the wrong direction. And I felt a lot of genetic nostalgia for what has been lost, for the experience of being embedded in a world full of beings where we're not the only being, but we relate to everything as a being. And we're, we're, at, we're at home in the universe. The way that I resolved that despair was I, I came to understand this whole journey of separation as part of a much larger process, a process of exploration and return, a process of plunging into all of the dramas and all of the stories that this world, with all its troubles, makes possible. Incredible stories and incredible ways to develop yourself. To, to really develop, you have to face adversity. To develop the muscles of love, you need to face situations where it's hard to love, where it's hard to be generous, where your ability to be patient and kind is challenged. And that's how you grow the soul. On like a metaphysical level, consciousness constructed this realm with all of its hellish attributes in order for us to grow and in order for all of these stories to play out. Now the return journey begins. We've reached the extremes of separation and the crises that separation causes. Because it looks like we'll be better and better off by dominating the other. But in fact, it is the opposite. We can subdue nature, but then we end up being alone, marooned in a mechanical or, or digital universe where we're hungry to return. We can dominate other people. We can build walls and, and bomb everybody into submission. But the violence that we visit upon the other sneaks back under the fortress walls. And now we have civil violence. We have domestic violence. So the whole program of domination and control is causing more pain for ourselves than benefit. This is causing a, a crisis in the way that we make sense of the world. We've defined ourselves in terms of rising above. I mean, even like the spiritual metaphors, to ascend, to, to raise your vibration. Like what's wrong with low vibrations? What's wrong with earth? What's wrong with matter? What's wrong with flesh? We have to stop repudiating the world that we have designed for ourselves as both a playground and a learning experience.